Today on the show, we are all business. We have our marketing minute coming at you from our own beautiful tech ninja goddess, Kim Porter, and... We're gonna to talk to Bill Satry about more on marketing. We're gonna teach you how to sell something. Even if you don't want to, you're gonna be selling like crazy. Don't go anywhere, this all starts right here, right now on Talk 365 TV. Here we go. And welcome back to Talk 365 TV. I'm Trip Mitchell, and that's Holly Love. And Holly did a career-killing bit last night. You came on you our think? podcast. <laughs> Let's was, do something, even if it's wrong. It was so much fun. Now, first of all, we have to talk about the name, because I'm, there's a part of me that's sort of sad, but I love it so much, because that is a phrase, when I first met you, that you said often when we would be getting ready to shoot and you know I was just coming back from LA and getting back into the TV thing and the grind of it and always wanting everything to be just so perfect and perfectly said and you you broke me of that with that phrase and it just sort of released and I say it all the time with clients that I'm working with or when we have guests on the show because you're nervous it's like you know what it's okay let's just shoot it even if it's wrong and then you started this podcast and i am telling you it's everything is wrong but it's so right so you have to check it out not just the one i'm on all of them they're hysterical. and we want to warn you this is not a pg show no this is very much rated r there's a lot of bathroom humor and you know innuendos thrown around and latently talked about what is the opposite <laughs> of an innuendo Latently innuendo. talked about. Innuendo That's would be politely talking about something which we started out we're doing and out then we innuendo. became. That's what we do. Is yes, we became blatantly honest about a lot of things that were happening. But it was a blast. I've never laughed so hard. My cheeks hurt. And Farrell came. Yeah. I had a chance to catch up with that guy. And Rich, our old host for this show. So sure. it's, yeah, when you get used to working with some people that are very funny and fun to work with, why change? Exactly. Because you yeah. have, I mean, it's a very small... We're like an Adam Sandler movie. Well, you work so hard and it is rare to have really great chemistry with everyone you work with. I mean, I haven't met anyone that I like disliked that I was working with, but there's definitely those that you not only like on camera, but off camera. It just makes it so much more fun. But really quick before we wrap, I have to give a shout out to Miss Sam and Katie as well. Both the girls that you have on the show, these two are hysterically funny. They get into all kinds of shenanigans and they are both incredibly intelligent as well. So it is a great podcast. Check it out. After the short break, we're going to come back and do what? We have got our business news you can use and also our marketing minute. You're not going to want to miss. Stick around. We are the dreamers. We changed the world. Because we don't give up. IU can help you live your dream. IU is an online college, so your campus is wherever you want it to be. Take classes when you want to take classes. You receive the tools you need at no extra cost. Even a brand new laptop and tablet to use in school. Call IU. Then tell them your dream. Call 1-800-613-8965. That's 1-800-613-8965. Healthcare for the Talk 365 team is provided by Body Renew. And welcome back to the show. It's a beautiful morning. I'm Trip Mitchell. That's Holly Love. And you've got some information on how to make events successful. So a marketing company did a survey of a thousand companies of the like of Amazon, General Mills, Porsche, on what they're going to be doing this year. And events are up 61%. So trumping things like email marketing at 14%, social media at 6%, content marketing at 27%. And the reason that they're saying this is because of how uncertain the digital media marketing world has become with all of the different platforms and how hard it is to make an impact. So with that, Sundance has always been welcome and opened their doors in Park City. It's to people and companies coming in. And from that, I picked a few businesses. One of my favorites was Remy. I went to their lounge and it was just packed because what they are is they are the first on-demand app for massage, stretch, 
and they will give you an IV treatment which will do everything from electrolytes to vitamins to cure a hangover to help you so you don't get sick it's it's a whole huge trend so they are mostly in California so if you're heading out on vacation you're running a Spartan race or you actually live there and you're checking us out on YouTube right now definitely try this app all you have to do is download it and in a few minutes those people will be on your way to your hotel they will come to your home obviously in the business calls that is something that is really huge in business right now but you were telling me stretching because that's something that I've never had it I don't get it what well is you're it? a ballerina but for sports especially as you get older you don't stretch properly and the way to do it is to is get your muscles really heated up and then do 10 or 15 minutes of stretching and in old guy hockey we never do that oh yeah so I bet but to have someone stretch you out is going to increase your performance and Imagine adding massage and then, you know, electrolytes and vitamins, a concentrated dose of that. The shot that I got was, I think, some B vitamins and some whatever cocktail that would make me feel great. I mean, I had so much energy. I felt so good after the shot. I think, man, I would love to be able to have them come in every day here and, you know, someday so we'll get there and we need to get them to Utah obviously but back to healthcare healthcare jumping on this trend makes it a lot of sense and these guys are at the forefront Dr. Abe Malkin is amazing they're a group of young awesome people that see the potential of what this can become and they've grasped the opportunity and they've taken it to the level it needs to be at and they're rocking it out there so event marketing going back to that you get bombarded by people right yeah, so I've worked a lot of trade shows and mm -hmm. in the ski business and stuff. You you spend four days there and you just you go into overload. You can't keep track of people. You get confused. Yeah, you, it's so hard because you know you go a whole year and you'll get ninety percent of your business at one trade show, yep. but following up is hard. I know it is very very hard. So. We have a solution for that because you need to be reaching out and finding your target audience and touching them on every platform every day so that you can build and grow your business. And we have an incredible solution that maybe you haven't thought of with LinkedIn as a way to find and meet your target audience. And our own tech ninja goddess, Miss Kim Porter, is going to tell you all about it right here, right now on our Marketing Minute. This is Kimberly Porter with your Talk 365 TV and Digital Media Marketing Minute. I wanted to take a minute and talk to all of you business owners. One of the things that we have noticed, especially in the past year, is that there's so much digital noise on all of the social media and internet platforms, it's really hard to, number one, be found, and number two, to be able to have your message heard above the crowd. So today I wanted to talk about LinkedIn specifically with LinkedIn, there are 500 million users. This platform has a search engine you can actually find using keywords. You can find your target market based on very specific criteria that can dial in and you can go right to their message box with an invitation and with a message. Having said that, there are a few things that you can do to be found on LinkedIn. Number one is you can put in your profile summary keywords that would assist somebody in finding you directly. You also wanna make sure that those keywords are in your title. Another thing that you can do in LinkedIn is you can create a custom URL. A custom URL will allow somebody to find you by name on LinkedIn directly. If you have a common name, you might want to put in your middle name or a company name so that they can find you directly on LinkedIn. You can also upgrade your account so that you can get premium positioning. When somebody puts in a keyword that's specific to your business, your profile will come to the top and they can find you quicker with a premium profile. Make sure that your LinkedIn profile has a professional picture, good media on there, videos that talk about your business, images, marketing collateral. And it's also a really great way if you meet somebody to send them to your LinkedIn profile so they can see your work experience, interests, your hobbies. And another thing that you can do is have your clients do a recommendation. LinkedIn has a profile and a section specifically for recommendations. And so there's also a way to add social proof to your LinkedIn profile. If you'd like to add LinkedIn to your current marketing strategy, or you'd like to talk about additional marketing strategies, email me here and request a complimentary consultation. I'd be happy to see what we can do to help you. Are you struggling with addiction? Do you need to detox? Is addiction controlling your life, hurting your loved ones? Don't be ashamed. Addiction is a disease that requires medical treatment. 
At Freedom From Addiction, we help people nationwide get free from addiction to alcohol, opioids, prescription medicine, narcotics, and more. Addiction is a disease. Get the medical treatment you need. Make the call. Brain Rehab Clinic is proud to announce that they're the first clinic in Utah to have on site the gyrostem. And welcome back to Talk 365 TV. Holly Love, what do you got? We are talking a little more business with, you're meeting the whole team basically. So this is Mr. Bill Satry and his background is in the auto industry. He has helped build this programmatic daily mail and it pretty much takes mail to the next level because if you're on a device and you're looking up something, you're interested in buying something, you can in a couple of days have something show up in your mail with an offer for what you were looking for. Have you ever gone onto a site and received something yet? Have I sent you to where you can have that happen? No, but it's ironic. I have got the lecture yesterday that my suits are not up to style. Ooh. So we went suit shopping online, Nordstrom's Rack, and what she wants me to get is a Michael Strahan suit from, okay. from J.C. Penney. Mm -hmm. So the immediately is I look it up on my phone and my tablet. Now all of a sudden I'm getting all this information on suit deals. And, and it's overwhelming, right? A little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's also fun because you're like, oh my gosh, over here, over here, over here. The challenge that people have, like your suit maker, is how do they get you back? How do they get you back to Nordstrom Rack? If you were able to get a mail piece in the mail, for one of those companies that's hitting you up saying, hey, you come back to me either online or in person, we'll give you a 20% off, what would that do? It would make it much easier. I would go back. It like helps you make a decision because we all have this like buyer's ADD. You almost get overwhelmed. So, okay, I will let him tell you more about it. He is much better at it than I am anyway. So here is our talking business with Mr. Bill Satry, our own media marketing expert team member. Here you go. Today's Talking Business is brought to you by Talk 365 TV and Digital Media Marketing with marketing team expert, Bill Satry. Hey everybody, welcome to another Talking Business. Today I am super excited to introduce you to our newest member of the Talk 365 TV and Digital Media Marketing team, Mr. Bill Satry. Hi Bill. Holly, how are you? I'm doing so good. I Thank you for coming first and foremost because we have a bit of a marketing 911 out there right now. Have you noticed? Uh, People everything's are freaking changed, out. right? Yes. So if you're a small business owner or you are working for a company that might be struggling a little bit right now, you're not alone because marketing has totally changed. All the digital and social platforms are completely different. If you look at the messages, even on LinkedIn from Gary Vee, one of my faves, basically his message is what you did yesterday is not going to work today. They have changed the platforms, the algorithms on all of the different social platforms as well as Google. Now, I shared with our viewers, we had Kim, who is my partner for the last couple of years, we've been figuring out what we want to do as far as creating a company together and how we would be able to help companies grow their business, utilizing the great content that we bring to the table with the show, and then what she brings to the table. I met you through what Kim and I were actually doing for us, for LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. I called you and I said, will you come and join our team? Because <laughs> you have made direct mail relevant and I'm gonna say sexy again. So let's first talk about how you found this technology, how it works, and why we wanna use it in this marketing environment. Holly, should I give your audience just kind of the plain old answer or the inside scoop? Inside scoop, always. Uh, listen, this technology is so cool. Now. Normally, when you do direct mail, you mail 5, 10, 20. I had clients mailing 100,000 mail pieces. To the just a random area. Is, no to control. To a random area or to past customers. And the problem is the weather could be bad or there could be a Super Bowl going on that weekend. There could be anything in the world that would disrupt their success. Now they're out 50,000 bucks. They're out 20 grand. Mm -hmm. It didn't work well. Or it worked really well and you try to reinvent that same message and it didn't work well. Mm -hmm. I get this. Okay. okay. So you have a website, right? Yes. And the website is getting a lot of hits each day, but your conversion rate is like, uh, mm -hmm. you're, you're getting 5% or 10%. Sure. So I'm able to pixelate, which is just a fancy word of placing code mm -hmm. on your website, either your homepage or a vehicle display page or any page you want and gather the data from that day. Pixelate is to like take a picture of mm -hmm. of who was, was on that website. So And now, they don't even necessarily have to fill something out in order for you to get that information. Nothing. 
they just have to visit it. So if somebody's interested in a particular car or we were talking boots earlier, I'm looking for a certain type of boots for the winter. I went to a page, I looked at it, what's gonna happen two days later? You're gonna get a mail piece with those boots on it with a special price for you to either go into a store or, or back, back to that website. One mail piece, not 5,000. Imagine how cool that is as the consumer, I think that's awesome. It excites me. I like that concept. I wanted the boots. I was looking at the boots. I wasn't completely ready to buy. And boom, I got a discount. I definitely would either walk in to a place to get the discount or I'd go back online. I would be decision made. I could push you over the edge. Do it. Right? Yes. Okay. You have a car dealership. Okay. Or you go to a car dealership and you got a slow moving product. I hit that website. Now remember, these cars here are over $100,000. It's a big ticket. So somebody hits that website and you only can do a digital retarget. Uh -huh. That's only going to be so good because I get digital ads all the time. And it, don't get me wrong, digital is cool. Sure. But cooler is to get an offer on that vehicle for a private, yep. private showing or private test drive. Now your $125,000 car is off the line. Yeah. Done. Gone. And you got to understand, there's this all this conversation about the sales funnel. Everyone and wants to figure that out. Can I be honest with you? Yes. The sales funnel is really in our minds. You don't you even can disrupt that in, in that. No, because this guy could be at the top of the sales funnel. Uh -huh. Well, I can wait until he comes in, but he's getting so many messages and there's so many national companies yeah. that are after him. It's he true. could be disrupted way early. So I need to disrupt him earlier on, yeah. get him in. Now, he isn't so loaded with cost and price and savings, and he isn't mad because the kids have been in 9 million dealerships, and they're tired, and they're cranky, and this isn't a cranky buyer anymore. This no. is a guy that says, well, how much is my trade-in worth? And what do you think, Margaret? And Margaret says, yes, and they're buying a car. So you have ones like this that are Amazon gift cards for companies that are basically, come and see whatever the product is or the service, and you're able to redeem the gift card, and it is winning for mortgage companies, auto dealerships. I have companies calling me at the middle of the night, mortgage companies. Uh-huh. You go to a mortgage company or a bank or a credit union. Sure. And you're looking for the best rate. All of a sudden, you hit the website, I've got your information. So now what do I do? I can make you an offer to eliminate the application fee. Here's a company, eliminates the application fee. And let me give you some numbers. Okay. They, they spent, and this is big numbers, but okay, $10,000 with me mm -hmm. and got $240,000 return on that investment for uh, 40 people that had gone away and actually came back. They were yep. lost. Yep. Now they came back. It's all found money. In the car business, people are spontaneous, a little more, but they become methodical because they spend eight to 10 hours of research before they buy a car. They spend 45 days online researching car Absolutely. price, model, mileage, a, you know, resale value. It's all there. Uh huh. So I send them an Amazon gift card. They come in early and all of a sudden they're buying a car. I have dealers calling me at night that say, Bill, we're out of Amazon gift card fund money. How do we do more? How do we do this? Give me some more money. Give me your numbers on the car sales because those are impressive. One card mm -hmm. is sent out for every person that we develop business rules. When you send out 100 cards, mm -hmm. I sell one car. So, so for every $100 they spend in these or whatever yeah, it may about, be. It could be around $150 with everything. So everything in $150 selling a $200. Car. You're, you're, and this you're is selling a $100,000 This is car. what you have been doing. So now you know why I got so excited about working with Bill and I immediately grabbed him and said, come and join our forces. We know that together, we make each other stronger because that's everything that we're being advised on how to succeed and win at marketing with an ADD buyers out there that get distracted by anything shiny. You have to surround your target market on all the different platforms that they are on and have a continuity in your messaging and then be able to tie back to bringing them into your store somehow. But I want to talk about geofencing because geofencing is your next, next technology that puts this on steroids. I didn't it think you were going to talk aggressive. about that. Today. You really want to talk yes, about please. that. Before you had to put up beacons inside of businesses and be espionage, it's hard and expensive. Now, uh -huh. an app, there's about 500 app companies that send me the data of the uh, longitudinal latitude of somebody that crosses into a geofenced area. Mm -hmm. So now you walk in and you sit down and you're more than six minutes inside a, uh, an office, mm -hmm. I've got you. 
Yeah. And now I'm going to send you an offer based on where you're at and where you were and whether you returned more than once. So let's explain this in terms of restaurants. Downtown restaurants, you are a restaurant owner and you want a certain type of person to be coming to your place. How about geofencing your competition, um, sending your competition one of these beautiful mail pieces for an offer to come to your restaurant next time? We used to buy names of people that had the propensity to eat out. Yes, yes. Propensity is a word for we you and hope. me. Hope. It's I don't hope. know, but it could be. We hope or everything it's better than looks anybody like else. it's not a guarantee. No, this is going to someone who is eating food and spending money at the, at your neighbor's next door, across yes. the street. So I geofence them. I've got their data. What do you want to send them? Acquisition, conversion, retention. So we bring them an appetizer. We send them down the next time a full meal, and now they're converted Tell to your restaurant. Tell them about your super cool idea with the whole tax return, because oh. that. For businesses who want to get aggressive, savvy, and think outside of the box, holy cow, this well, is a great idea. Every year, you've got from January to mid-April mm -hmm. tax time. So the average American gets a $3,000 tax return, mm -hmm. like either in their hand, or they get it electronically, or they get it right on the spot. It is proven statistically that people buy a car after tax returns, or a new mattress, or kind of a big ticket item, new TVs, no matter what it is. So you targeting people who have a check in hand and want to buy something, and we are able to send them your offer. That is some cool technology. I can only do it for one company in each. Line. area and you know what I mean if you're yeah. one mattress company I can't do it for two because then course. it would be redundant so yep. if you're a car dealer you probably need to act on this if you're a mattress company if you're anybody with a big ticket item you know your your Now's territory the time could right be, now. Yeah. yeah so you want to make sure because I can't do everybody Holly I wanted to mention that all what we do is PII certified in other words we're not going to break any laws or any privacy regulations we're really harvesting addresses. No names, no phone numbers, no emails are even looked after or revealed. We're just mailing to the home address. Everything on the up and up, of course, I wouldn't expect anything less. And again, that goes back to all of your hard work that you did. And by the way, might I mention, he owns the exclusivity to this whole technology. So if you think you know what he's doing, you don't. He's and the only one do doing it. This is impossible to replicate. I would allow you to go ahead and try, but daily programmatic mail through Boomerang West is just a lot of work. So this is concept that is new to the market. It is disruptive. It is innovative. It is amazing. It gets people to be shocked because we're not used to having something so targeted come into our mailbox. It's never worked like this before. And I think in the world of digital, because you know that's where my heart is, we create content that's gonna push people to his pixels to get more of these in more people's hands. And so that's our strategy combined. But even outside of that, like you said, there's so much digital out there. We're so used to those feeds on the side of our social media pages. We're so used to our you know, email being filled with ads. And you know, when they apply, we're happy to look at them. Otherwise, it's just white noise and we don't pay attention. This is shocking. This is like, it wakes you up a little bit to be like, whoa, I was just looking at those boots and I'm, I, I would like to go buy them. So we have packages that are combined that we create really cool content. You can come and be a guest on the show and then we utilize his pixeling and landing pages and all kinds of fun digital marketing to help grow your business, grow your audience and make this year a win for marketing. Or you can of course call Bill for a private consultation. He is with Boomerang West. Bill, how do they get a hold of you? They can reach me at 801-558-5660. You can leave a message if we're tied up, or you can go to bill mm -hmm. at satree.com. But be prepared, like make sure you're in the mindset of gaining more market share, disrupting the market, and you remember I used to say, drinking the blood of the competition? He did used to say that, and it, it is really true. I'm you trying have to, to it is, change my ways. It is, a, it is a very aggressive way to go at marketing, but you know what? If you are a business owner, you know everything's changed. Your go-to marketing strategy probably isn't working, and there's a reason for it, because it won't work. If you haven't tried it yet, I'm telling you, when it goes and it doesn't work, give us a call because we'd love to set up a free consultation and tell you all the cool things we could do for you. And you'll be surprised it's affordable because we can take it in a way that we create a million dollar marketing strategy. It looks like a million dollars, but instead we implement it to just go after your target market. So from their perspective, they're seeing you all over the place and they're like, wow, this company has blown up. If you're a large company, 
clearly, you want to be thinking this way, especially with the geofencing strategy, and that is something that you need to act on fast because it's going to be gone. It, well, you're going to sell out, basically. And Holly, a lot of this, when I do the heat maps after uh -huh. and show the companies where the business is coming from, about 60% is out of their primary market area. Wow. So it isn't like, well, I would have had those customers anyway. No. Really? You're in Salt Lake and the guy in Ogden would have come down anyway. You were so able to get them to drive. Improve it and yeah. show them that they came in and they registered and they actually redeemed the Amazon gift card or whatever we're offering. So there's no gas anymore. Either they came in it. or they didn't. And if you're not sure you're doing really well, I can have you call back the people that actually came in a month later, mm -hmm. find out where they went. Did they go to a competitor yeah. that they didn't buy? Did they just fool you and took out your money from your, your offer? Most of them actually end up buying somewhere. About 80% that hit your website are actually out buying that product. It's cool. Thank you for joining me. Thank Don't you. go anywhere. We'll be right back right here on Talk 365 TV right after this. Snacking has never been this exciting. At Graze.com, we combine wholesome ingredients with the flavors we all love to create over 100 exciting snacks like these. We'd love to send you a Gray sampler box for free. Just go to Graze.com, enter the code SNACK54, and we'll mail your free box to your home or office. Join thousands of Grazers already in love with our exciting snacks. So come to Graze.com for your first box free. Brain Rehab Clinic is proud to announce that they're the first clinic in Utah to have on site the gyro stem. And welcome back to the show. We've learned a lot today about marketing, but I want to circle back to events. Okay. Events are, they can be amazing. They're, in yeah. the old days, we called them trade shows. And what a trade show was, so for instance, I was in the ski business and I worked for a group, Fabulous Phil Rabin, and we had about eight or nine lives. Oh, lines. I've met Fabulous Phil. Yeah. We'd go to a trade show down in Vegas, the ski show, and all the dealers, all the ski shops in the West would come in and it was great because we write all their business for the next year. Sure. They had show specials. Yeah. So it was really cool. So it was a hard working show, but you're inundated with people. But on the other hand, if you handle a trade show or an event, yep. well, it is a great way. It, it People come to see you in your best light. And you have an opportunity to interact and really give them a taste for what you're doing in a bigger audience. So multiple people get to hear your message. Multiple people instead of just one at a time. But you're at an event that is so expensive for you to be there. You have to maximize every minute. You can't waste. Mm -hmm. And that's why these programs and, are wonderful. And then the time after. And so that's what's really interesting. What I've learned from Kim with LinkedIn, the reason why it is such a cool ad to what we do is you can actually target your audience. Then when they engage with you and accept your request, we can put this great interview that tells all about you, much like what would be an event experience, kind of take them through this automated sales process. And by the time they call you and say, hey, I'm interested in meeting you, they're that much further ahead in understanding what you do and where they're ready to buy for you. So it's, Perfect. it so, speeds up the game. It's fun. It's exciting. Of, speeding up the game, we got to get out of here. For Holly Love, I'm Trip Mitchell saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on Talk 365 TV.